try to play dominant football. I will give young talent a chance to come in the, the first team. I'm very excited to, to be a manager in the, uh, in the biggest league in the world, the Premier League, to manage a great club. Fantastic fans, so I'm really excited to start. So look, you're a club of many characters and you've got a real character with this guy. has a go, and what a go! Boys delivery, flicked on, and touched in by Joel Ward! It's a good cross in as well, and it's two! Bounier! He must have that sinking feeling. If you analyse the game, we lost the game in 15 minutes. It was a very expensive lesson. It's a mistake from Crystal Palace. And Swansea City take the lead. Kelly always lost out. And he's going to make it 2 0. What a horrendous mess. Leads back pass. Wood is on to it and scores. Crystal Palace this season are making some terrible individual errors. Stands in there and can't score! Unbelievably! What have they got to do? He's had no luck at all today, Frank De Boer. He is beaten again for the fourth game running. Another grey, grey day. I cannot believe in him standing here that we don't uh, get a point out of this game. Or, or three points. Flabbergasted a little bit, you know, that we are uh, pointless and uh, goalless uh, right now. Well, look, Frank's a good guy, real good guy, but I don't think the fit was right, you know, and I've got to take responsibility for that. He knows the area, he knows the club. Roy's track record is first class. I'm desperate, really, to get some wins for myself and for the team. Rashford, that was a lovely turn. Chance for Mata! Hudson's reaction says it all for Palace. Townsend with the delivery. It's Kavai! It's in! And Crystal Palace have their first goal of the season. Oh, what a roar of relief around Salah's Park. Comes towards Bakayoko with the header. Sacco. Zaha. Stumbling, but still coming yeah. Back in the side. Back in business. Saturday, the 14th of October. The day that Crystal Palace's season really started. Oh, it's in! Brian. But for goal, oh, what a goal that is! Crystal Palace have fallen apart. And it's 2 0 to West Ham United. And it's 2 1. Palace right back in the game. Football from Palace. Dominated it past the ass. Palace fans enjoyed that. But uh, it's been given away and the ass is in here and it's 2 2. And what on earth have Palace done there? I won't be able to hide my disappointment or my regret that good performances are not giving us any points. We just got to be clinical. We can't play that well and not finish teams off. So yeah, it feels like the game lost. I think there's a real sense of belief and drive that we can get out of this. Big day for Roy Hodgson and Crystal Palace. Shakiri, what a great run by Shakiri! Oh. Well, they need to show some character now, Palace. All the way through, and there's the equaliser! Ruben Loftus-Cheek! Zahar again, pass Shubo Moting again. All the way through, it's Kavai! Off the post and in! It's Sacco! Deep into stoppage time! A massive three points for Roy Hodgson and Crystal Palace. 
And what a roar around Selhurst Park! I think these fans cheering us on and staying to the end is something which will be a, a major weapon for us. This is well worked out. Defoe scores! 1-1. Yeah. No big to save in that one. Drills it! And it's in! It's Scott Dan! Oh, what a goal! And the referee is giving the penalty! And it looks like Christian Benteke, who hasn't scored since April. So much hinging on it. And it's saved by Begovic! Oh, I'm staggered he took that, I really am. I've got to say, I don't think justice was done over the 93 or 95 minutes. It takes a, a, a lot of courage to go up and take a penalty in the, in the last couple of minutes in the game. But the, we had so many other chances to, to win this game. We have to take it as a team. Palace remain rooted to the bottom of the Premier League pile. If they can get that win tonight, they'll be out of the bottom three. Far post, Yanma, 1-0! Well, that's taken the wind out of Crystal Palace sails. Oh. Cleverly oh. has just been booked, he's going to go off here. So down to nine and a half as Zaha comes forward here for Crystal Palace. Takes it on and followed in. Back and Rusako. Oh, what a timely and vital goal that will be. Zaha. Well, he's got the beating of Yamat now. He's got it in. MacArthur! What a turnaround this is for Crystal Palace. For the first time since the opening match of the season, they're heading out of the bottom three of the Premier League. <laughs> Milivojevic scores! Oh, what a shot that is! Palace now unbeaten in eight. Manchester City ripping up the record books. Milivojevic, Edison saves. What a game of football. Their winning streak comes to a close. Oh, it's James MacArthur! Milivojevic. Oh, what a brilliant finish! Bekri Seko going through the gears here and scoring. He's done it again. Rapidly becoming a fan's favourite. Four up inside the opening quarter of the game. It's embarrassing, really, from a Crystal Palace point of view. You can't believe it, Roy Hodgson. This is a, a cloud on a pretty dark afternoon for Crystal Palace. Townsend will take advantage of that. Benteke, 1-0 Crystal Palace. Oh, Zabaleta jumps in with the kitchen sink there on Bakary Sacco. Milivojevic against Darvo. We can't deny the fact that this is a, a very serious injury crisis that we're suffering from. And, you know, I get often asked, you know, can you remember having this many players injured in clubs in the past? And quite frankly, I can't. And it's Tom Davis! Palace still have their problems. Kane's at the far post. And Palace's resistance is broken. In the Townsend to hit first time. Great start for Crystal Palace. Van Aanholt is in here and makes it 2-0. And they have been the better team all the way through this game. Oh, what a goal, Nemanja Matic. He's won it for Manchester United. The shot that creeps in. wan is really relishing the chance to show off his skills. wan that's wonderful. He's come into the side for the last three games, wan and he's done really well, the young man. I think every game we're going to play between now and the end of the season will be a massive game. We all know the importance of getting three points from the game.
first part. I just want to beat them and then they can just be quiet. And it's in the back of the net and Wilfred Zaha has given Crystal Palace the perfect start. It's blocked on the line, it's in! Palace have a second! And it's Tompkins who forces it home! And Murray pulls one back from Brighton! Swing a decent looking ball in towards Zaha as well! And there's the third goal for Crystal Palace! Izquierdo's in here, and he puts it in. It's Murray, it's blocked. Sacco there in the way for Palace. And it's a Derby Day victory for Roy's boys. A crucial win. Crystal Palace edges them further towards safety. He white shirts and nips away from all of them. He's having a good game. And here he is again. Will he be able to drive into the penalty area? Instead it's Kabai, poked on. Can they get it through to Zaha? Oh, they can! And there's the opening goal for Crystal Palace. Here's McArthur who turns! Three goals and surely now three points for Crystal Palace. It's been on hold and it's four for Palace. It gets better and better. And Palace have the chance here to seal their biggest ever Premier League win. to congratulate Benteke. He's waited a long time for that. And MacArthur, 1-1, trouble for the Potters. This could be the moment, Van Aanholt. Well, they sing the name of Roy Hodgson once again. And what a wonderful moment, a local man who has delivered in a big way for Palace this season. Zaha! Palace's player of the season delivers right to the end of the season. And Palace have got the win over the line. Crystal Palace sign off for 2017-18. Sell us Park in full voice. What you've done for us as supporters this year has been absolutely incredible. We've never doubted for one minute that you are behind us, you're suffering with us, you're winning with us and you're losing with us. And that's an incredible thing for any crowd in here. And we look forward to seeing you again next season. Thank you. I swear every Crystal Palace fan is up on their feet clapping and cheering. I do not think there is a better atmosphere in the Premier League than Selhurst Park.